They're currently on the screen is another look at the life of Super Typhoon Maria or 10W. This is the life up to a few hours ago. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has Maria located 369 nautical miles south southwest of Iwo 2 and has tracked northwestward at 11 knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows that Super Typhoon has maintained its eye. But um, the northern convection surrounding the eye has thinned. An 89 gigahertz GPM microwave image shows the world defined microwave eye surrounded by a complete eye wall with deep convective rain bands uh, spiring in. The initial position is placed with high confidence based on the 20 nautical mile wide eye feature in the infrared imagery loop. The initial intensity under a SATCON estimate of 132 knots continuing an intensification trend in recent SATCON estimates. Upper level analysis reveals that poleward outflow has improved due to the orientation of the severe typhoon in the northern hemisphere of the system is being eroded by the proximity of the TUTT. Uh, we did mention this in our live broadcast earlier today. Now we have a look at the latest NOAA floaters on the system. And there's no doubt that due to the intensification of what was Typhoon Maria, the JTWC has upgraded it to Super Typhoon status. The current location is near 19.1 degrees north, 138.8 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 130 knots, gusting 160. But it looks like it will maintain intensity. to at least 9 Uzunu on well that would be within the next 24 hours significant wave height is 39 feet and here's a look at various tracks on the system Central pressure could be 9 19 millibars. Late cycle intensity guidance. We know that Maria did reach Cat 5 status, and within a couple of days, it will start to weaken the 
Joy Typhoon Warning Centre, here's another satellite view of Moia. And since our live broadcast, Moia has developed further. The latest track chart from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. The upper level divergence has uh, slightly improved. It's up around uh, 30 knots. latest wind shear, 25 hour shear tendency and you can clearly see where Maria is located. The Central Weather Bureau over there in Taiwan has in place a heavy rain advisory for various regions. So at this point in time, it's only a uh, rainfall advisory. Here's the Pivotal Weather website. It's a GFS model, and this is accumulated uh, precipitation. The scale is at the bottom of the screen. What I look for is the area in yellow free to dark brown. So repeating, the Central Weather Bureau Taiwan has issued a heavy rain advisory for various regions. The Japanese Meteorological Agency current chart on Maria. We will continue to bring updated information. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.